So I got bangs. I'm obsessed with them. Also added some layers to the front, went lighter. I just like love this little haircut that I have going on. So this is the new look. So obsessed. I feel like it fits my face very well. And they're so like fun. I don't know. Great little haircut. But welcome back to another vlog. I have taken the last few days off of vlogging. I just like wanted to kind of relax and yeah, but here I am starting a new vlog. Gonna do a few days in my life. If you're new here, my name's Alyssa. Subscribe, follow me on Instagram, TikTok, all that. And let's get this vlog started. I cannot stop looking at my hair. I just feel like it's so fun and different. I used to always have bangs growing up. I've always had like curtain bangs and last like fall, I wanted to try and grow them out and I just like didn't really like how it was starting to look when they got like kind of long. So Sunday I went in and chopped them and way happier with how they look now. But besides that, I have a few things to show you guys. I went shopping over the weekend and I'm so excited to have like new fresh pieces in my closet. So we're gonna start the vlog with a little shopping haul. Most of it is like workout stuff because I've been trying to revamp my workout clothes. So that's basically what I was shopping for. And yeah, we can just start with Lulu Lemon. I got a new sports bra and the cutest little color. It's like a coral kind of color. This is the Energy Long Line Bra. I have it in two different colors already, but I felt like this color was just so much fun for spring, summer. I've been really loving bright colored workout sets. So picked this up. I got a size 12 and I have in the other two a size 10 because it's like more support for a bigger chest. But I feel like I need something a little bit more comfy. So I went one size up and it still fits really good. It's just like more of a light to medium support instead of like being super tight. So if you want like super tight supportive sports bras, I would size down one. And then if you want to be like fit perfect and like a light to medium support, I would say size, like get your normal size or size up. So got it in this cute little coral color. And then I've recently figured out that you're not supposed to work out in a line pants. So I got a pair of the Wonder Train leggings and I just got a plain black color just to, like it can go with everything and I can like wear them with more than one sports bra like instead of getting a whole set and I didn't know that they have this little elastic inside to like tighten them so I picked up a pair of these for my yoga sculpt classes and I hope they hold up better than aligns because I feel like aligns when you work out in them they get pilly very fast so hopefully that is different with the wonder train they honestly feel the exact same just like a little bit more workout-ish i guess you can say so that is what i got from lululemon and then from abercrombie i've been really wanting to try their workout stuff and i've always heard good things about it and especially for like a larger chest i feel like you need there's like very selective brands that actually have good support. So I tried out Abercrombie. I got this tan color, like shorts, biker shorts to work out in. And then I bought the matching sports bra tank top. And look at this, cute detailing, fits perfect. I think it's in the color like Onyx or O. Oh, I don't know which one it is, I always forget. But got this. I actually sized down a lot in this too. I got size medium, I think. Size medium in the top and then a size large in the bottoms. And they fit perfectly, both of them. This bag is so annoying. And also the top comes with a little matching scrunchie. So I need to like unhook it, but perfect. Cute little workout set. Has the matching bottoms. And they also have them in leggings but i kind of wanted like a little change so i got shorts instead and i'm so excited to wear both of these to my yoga classes so happy with those and then i guess continuing with workout stuff aloe i usually don't shop at aloe for 
workout stuff because I feel like their stuff isn't very like fitting for my type of body. I have like thinner legs with like a wider waist and then I have like big boobs so I feel like their stuff just doesn't really fit that well but I found a good sports bra and I'm like actually very surprised that it fit. It is the cutest little black sports bra with the most insane detailing. It has like a regular sports bra out on the like outside of it and then inside it's like a sheer mesh bralette kind of thing just for like the detail and look of it and then the band is actually sheer too so that was just like such a fun little detailing that they added and I got size large I wish they went up to a size extra large because then I feel like their stuff would be more like size friendly to other people but they stop at a large so aloe please size up because we need more options but this one actually fits pretty good and I tried finding leggings but their leggings just don't fit me very well I have one pair and they always slide down like I think they're too small and it's a size large like that's my normal size so I don't know what their sizing is like but it just doesn't really give me what it needs to give so glad I found a sports bra though because I feel like I've been really wanting to wear aloe stuff but their stuff just doesn't fit right so I found a hidden gem somewhere in that store and then I went to no rest for Bridget this is like a little boutique in Newport Beach and they have the cutest stuff so they have like good summer kind of things I feel like it reminds me of like east east coast summer like I don't know that's just like the vibe it gives me so picked up some linen pants in this tan color this would be so good like over a bathing suit just super light and flowy they're wide leg and they have like a little drawstring and then pockets and they feel so soft and like really good quality actually so i picked up these i'm so excited to style them for summer but they also have pockets on the side so perfect but i found these somewhere these were actually on sale too and great little steel that I found and then I got some little goodies while I was checking out. Can never pass up on the checkout stuff. I feel like they always have the cutest little like knickknacks when you go into the checkout line. So I found this little claw clip. It's like a little marble yellow color it's so cute and i have very thick hair so i'm hoping this actually holds my hair because like usually clips like this don't hold my hair very well but hopefully it does and then i need a pair of pearl earrings because my sister-in-law's bridal shower is on sunday and it's tea party themed so i feel like everyone's gonna be wearing pearls pearl necklace pearl earrings and i only had gold hoops so i I found the cutest pearl earrings for the bridal shower and they're just so cute. I feel like I can also wear these like besides at the bridal shower so that is all of the clothing that I have. I also ordered a big package from Abercrombie that are having a good sale so picked up a few staple items and I'm waiting for that to come in the mail so when it does I'm going to show you guys. But. Last but not least, I caved. I caved and I didn't think I would, but I've never been so dang excited for this package. That also came like insanely quick. So, oh wow. I bought a Stanley. I did not think I was gonna become a Stanley girl, but I couldn't pass it up. It's so cute. I love the color. I got it in fog, I think. It's a little bit more blue than I was thinking that it was going to be, but this is so nice. Oh my god, it just feels so good. I just feel like I needed a Stanley. I don't know why. Like one day I just woke up and I was like, I need a Stanley right now. And I was like, honestly, kind of a Stanley hater, not gonna lie. I was like, they're kind of pointless. Like, what do you need a bigger water bottle for like this rams one was perfect but like this is so much cuter than a rams cup i don't know love rams but i just feel like stanley cups are 
in and I've always I hear good things about them so I'm glad I picked it up this color is so cute I almost got the jade one because that's like my favorite color in the entire world but I wanted to get something a little bit more timeless and like I probably get rid get tired of the jade color like a bright green cup I don't know I just feel like this one is more chic and sleek so I'm gonna go wash this fill it up and yeah that's my little haul and now let's get into the vlog i'm also starving my parents want to go pick up dinner so i hope they're back in time but i'm gonna go wash my stanley fill it up and put this bad boy back in the cabinet because i'm so excited to use this and i also need to put away all of my clothes so that is that but let's get started with the vlog Why do I love this Stanley already? I feel like this just like tastes so much better. It's also very cold. So, so far, Stanley is approved. Hello, starting the vlog. It's Wednesday. And I just got Starbucks. I got a chocolate cold foam cold brew. I messed this order up so bad when I was saying it. I like didn't know what I was saying. The girl who works at Starbucks, like I see her all the time when I go. And she says that I look like Mia Goth. I don't really know who that is. I know she's an actress. But I'm not like one to watch movies. So I honestly have no idea who she is. And she thinks I look exactly like her. So she wrote, hi Mia Goth on the lid. And I think it's so funny. I'm hoping it's like a compliment and not someone who's like, you know, like a joke. I don't know. So that was kind of funny, but I haven't really been vlogging like at home today because my neighbors are getting their concrete like driveway hammered out and it's insanely loud and it's like kind of a little stressful listening to the noise. Um, so I just started the vlog in the car. I'm about to go down to Newport and go to the Crossroads trading store that they have over there and sell a bunch of clothes because I have like so many random things I just don't wear and they're just like sitting in my closet taking up space and I figured it would be a good way to make some money off of them because they're really good pieces and not that they're not worthy of being donated but like if it's you know like a more expensive piece I would rather try and get some money back on it so that is what we're gonna do I have class at 1 and it's 11.45, so I really do not think I'm gonna make it back to class, but it shouldn't be that big of a deal. It's just a Zoom call, and like honestly, the last two classes, we haven't done anything, so I should be good, but I'm gonna start the vlog. It's such a nice day outside, and I'm actually very excited to go down by the beach, even though I really don't go that far. Well, I guess it's kind of like near the beach. It's in Costa Mesa, technically, but where it is, it's like not right on the water, but anyways. I'm gonna go drive down there, drink my coffee. It's also, I haven't even had any caffeine today and I was trying so hard to like stop and like have a day without any caffeine, but I don't know why I was like, I need a drink for the drive. And I love having a drink with me, like when I'm driving somewhere. So got a Starbucks and it looks very good. So that is the plan. Let's go sell some clothes. I'm in such a bad mood. I usually don't let this kind of stuff bother me, but I feel like that just ruined my entire day. Out of the entire two bags that I brought that were full of clothes, like literally overflowing, they they bought my Doc Martens and a Kate Spade wallet. That's all they got. And they told me because I brought in H&M and they don't accept H&M. I'm like, what? But they accept like Brandon Millville and like brands like that, but they won't take H&M. I don't 
don't know why that just bothered me so much. So, came all the way down here. We well, said like an hour and a half, and they didn't take any of the clothes because of the brand. So, I usually like don't come on here and like give places bad reviews, but that just like ruined my entire day. Why is like selling clothes to a trading company so like why does it affect my confidence so much? I don't know, but now I'm just like in a weird mood and I want to sit. I've been sitting in my car for like 10 minutes just in silence because I don't know what to do with myself. So, I guess don't sell to Crossroads because they don't really accept anything. Oh, I'm so annoyed. I just got home from Crossroads and picked up some lunch on the way home. I got a bowl from Kava. They only have these in like big cities. I think they have one in like New York, Nashville, and they have one in Newport. So I always go anytime that I'm like around the area. So this is lunch. I'm so excited, I'm starving. I got a grains bowl with saffron rice, sweet potato, feta, and cucumbers and tomato and hummus and then a side of Greek vinaigrette and yeah that's lunch. I've been awake since like 4 30 and I'm about to go I'm gonna go on a walk with my mom. So I'm gonna throw on this Nike sweatshirt. Oh gosh, I've been awake since like 4.30. I don't know why I woke up so early, but here I am getting my day started. eggs and spinach and then I made my favorite green smoothie that I've been obsessed with it doesn't look very appetizing but this is like the most simple best breakfast ever I also added way too much hot sauce guys I'm doing something crazy today I'm going to get my first spray tan I've never had one before and I'm kind of nervous because I'm really not one to ever look tan. I never self tan. I just have like naturally very pale skin and I've like always just not really cared to like get a spray tan or anything but I think I've already mentioned it. My sister-in-law's bridal shower is on Sunday and I was kind of like this. I think this zipper's broken. Oh, there we go. I was kind of like, maybe I should just try and get a spray tan. So, I booked my first appointment. I'm going to the tannery in Newport Beach. I always hear good things about them, like any time that I've ever heard someone getting a spray tan. So, I just threw on this Brandon Melville black sweatshirt and then some really old black sweatpants. Put my hair up. And, yeah, I'm kind of nervous. I really don't. I feel like it's gonna be, I hope it's not too dark on me because I'm just very naturally like light skinned and like I really don't want my freckles to be covered or anything and I have freckles like all over my body, like on my legs, my arms, all that. So I hope this turns out good, but let's go get a spray tan. 
wait, wait, because someone else told me that they're like, they're like, like, like real fucking dope with the dude. Yeah. <laughs> Got my spray tan. I feel very sticky and I couldn't I showered this morning but I couldn't put any like lotion, moisturizer nothing on my body just like bare dry skin so i feel a little weird but i feel so sticky and gross but it's okay it'll be worth it um i went to the tannery in newport beach it's next to john wayne airport if you know where that is it's like right outside the tarmac um but it was such a good experience for my first time going i was a little nervous like i'm not very comfortable like getting waxes or like anything anything like that like I would just get very nervous and shy so I was a little bit nervous for a spray tan but it went so well the ladies in there were so nice I went to Mercedes that was her name and she was the best she had the best reviews too on Yelp so I felt like super comfortable with her and stuff and yeah it was just such a great experience I walked in signed in and then she took me back into the room she said okay you can get as undressed as you want to like if you want to go full no clothes or if you want to wear like a bra underwear whatever you want and I went I only wore underwear because I wanted like my chest to be tan I didn't want to have like weird you know just like on my boobs like why not just do it so that's what it was like it took like 15 20 minutes at most and then she left the room after the spray tan and I dried off for like five minutes in front of the fan and then I got dressed and that was it so very quick easy experience i'm definitely gonna be going back and we also did the very lightest color i got this sun kissed and she said that the next time i go in i'll probably go one shade darker or maybe two shades darker it just depends on how i liked how this one comes out especially for being very very pale she was like you don't want to go too dark on your first time because it might like give you an irritation or something so that is that, but I'm definitely going to be going back. I want to go for the bachelorette trip and probably the wedding too. And just like have a nice tan. Because I've always been like not insecure about how light my skin is. But like I just know that on I don't have an even skin tone. Like my legs get dark and my arms get dark. But like my chest is very white. So I just always want to like even it out. So hopefully that is the results that I get. But yeah. I'm very happy with the experience. It was so good. And then I stopped to treat myself. I went to Alta to get an iced chai. They have the best chais in Newport. And it was just like a five minute drive. So I was like, I'm already out here. Why not? So got a nice chai. Now I'm just going to go head home. And that's about it. It's also kind of gloomy out here. So there's not too many people out. But I'm going to go drive home. And yeah. I just woke up. My tan has fully developed. I think it looks really good. Also ignore my room. I haven't cleaned my room in like a few days and everything kind of just all over the place. So ignore that. But I think the tan came out super good. I'm obsessed with it. I've never really been one to like self tan or like I don't tan in the sun. I usually just burn. So seeing myself with some color is kind of weird, not going to lie, but I just feel like it really looks a lot better than what my skin looked like before because before I had like a super pale white chest and then a bad farmer's tan on my arms and then like the bottom half of my arms had like some color. So it just like wasn't very even, but now I feel like it looks nice and like one tone, so... So far so good. I just washed it off last night before bed. I waited till like 10 o'clock and then I went to bed and it developed overnight. So looks good and like look at this. That's kind of funny. But overall I think it came out really good. I feel like I can still smell it on me which is kind of a gross smell but it's nothing too bad. So this is the tan in the morning really good to be honest.
and Alyssa. I don't know who she is. My face just looks a little bit paler, obviously, because she didn't tan my face just because she was scared that I was going to have, like, a reaction or something. So, I need to, like, add makeup to even it out. And if you know me, I'm not one to really wear makeup. So, not sure how that's going to go. But, overall, I think it's worth it. And I feel a little bit more confident. made a coffee we didn't have any of my chobani creamer i like completely ran out and then when i went to go buy more the market was out of it so i ran to albertson's really quick and picked them up and then i don't know why like i've been trying to get myself back into coffee but i go through phases where i'm like it just like doesn't taste good so i bought my stoke cold brew never to the point so that is what I'm drinking, and I honestly have nothing to do today. I need to get my nails done. I need to clean my room, and that's it. Like, I don't really have any schoolwork to do. I don't have any errands to run besides my nails, and i maybe go to Ulta, but I'm not really sure. So, I'm going to take a slow morning and watch some YouTube and just kind of relax. It's also a really nice day out, and... I'm not in the mood to go for a walk, so I'm not gonna force myself. I'm just gonna sit here, watch some YouTube, and then I think the nail salon opens at like 9.30 or 10, so as soon as it opens, I'm gonna call and ask if I can come in and get my nails done. But other than that, I really don't have too much planned today. I finished all of my schoolwork yesterday on purpose, so I didn't have like a bunch of stuff to do today because it's a pretty busy weekend, and yeah. So I'm gonna have a slow morning. It's only 8.30 and I'm so glad I woke up early. I actually woke up at seven on my, like on my own time. Like I didn't have an alarm set. I just, my body woke up at seven and that was that. So I'm gonna drink my coffee and watch some YouTube. Also, I'm just now seeing the color difference between my face and my neck. Don't know what to do about that because I'm not good at makeup, so. Okay, I picked up some Chipotle on the way home. I started eating my chips because I was so hungry. My stomach was like, growling, so I was like, okay, I need to eat something on the way home. Chips, and then got guac. And I got a bowl with oops, white rice, steak, black beans, Cheese, corn, lettuce, and pico. So, this is lunch. I'm so excited. I'm starving. I also got my nails done. I got just normal gel. I didn't get, like, gel extensions this time. But, just because I like, feel like I hate taking off the gel extensions, and these are just so much easier. Even though I have, like, the shortest nails, and they look kind of funny. I'm like that girl with the meme. Um... But yeah, I got my nails done and then stopped at Ulta, picked up a few things, and then I was starving, so I picked up lunch. And now I'm gonna eat this and sit on the couch.